Hey guys, today I'm going to go through some apps for your mobile phone or your tablet that you can use to edit photographs. A lot of these are free but they offer paid upgrades and I'll tell you more about them as we go through them. Okay, so the first app I'm going to show you is Photoshop Express. This is a free app that does offer some paid upgrades. Now, the reason I've chosen to show you this app is because it is kind of what you used to. It does have quite a lot of really good filters that you can use. There are some which are a lot um, really professional, so there's some of the black and white filters are really good. Um, there's some that make it look more filmic. And then there are a few filters that are just there for fun. So as you can see here with the bokeh, um, you wouldn't use this every day, but it is quite good for if you're doing a portrait or a fashion piece, not that one, that's not a good one. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are some really good ones, especially if you play around with the opacity later on in post. I do quite like the one with the spotlight. Um, so yeah, there's something there for everybody. There are loads of different options as well. Um, you can use some of the paper, overlays, watercolour, cosmos, patterns, there's all sorts of stuff on there um, so it is really good to have a go with. It's also really good if you want to do cropping especially if you're into marketing and want those presets for Facebook page covers and event covers they're really useful but you can also use layer masks as well in your work. They are quite accurate, I mean this leaf was quite difficult to layer mask but you can edit these as well on your phone. And although this app is free, you can purchase a free upgrade. It gives you the ability to use layer editing, selection tools and healing brushes. You can get this for $6.99 a month or make a bit of a saving if you purchase in bulk for the year and it works out at $29.49 for the year. I think the free features are just fine. I got um, I got by with using them, so I wouldn't really recommend um, paying for the upgrade as students during this lockdown. Um, unless you wanted to use this as a permanent feature in your photographic practice. The next app I'm going to show you is called VSCO. This is an app that I've used for quite some time now. It's really good for having presets that are already made that do make your pictures look um, professional. There are some filters on there that you do have to pay for by becoming a member, but I'll go through those a bit later on when we talk about pricing. It has all of the tools that you need to be able to change the exposure, the contrast of your image, which are really, really good. There are some ones on there for portraits, but I didn't have any portraits to experiment with, so um, I didn't have a look at those, but they are worth having a look at, and there are some experimental ones as well. You can see me just going through some of the techniques here that you can use. Um, you can also create a recipe with your current edit. So I had changed the exposure on this one and put a filter and that way you can apply it to all of your images. So if you want to keep a consistent feel within your photographs, you can create these recipes and then come back to them later. And that is a free feature, which is really good. There are quite a number of filters as well on the app, so you'll definitely get some use out of all of them. Again, as I said with Photoshop, this the free version of this app is really good. You don't particularly need to pay for it, but if you do, it's $19.99 for 12 months and you do get a seven day free trial. You get over 200 presets, so if you do like editing on your phone and taking photos on your phone um, it, and you like the app, it might be worth upgrading, but same with Photoshop, the free version is really, really good. Now this next app is a little bit different, it's called Lens Distortions and this gives you the ability to overlay certain techniques on your photographs. So this again is a free app, it does offer for, um, some paid upgrades but you can add some light leaks onto your photographs if you're into that sort of film effect. Um, there are loads of different overlays that you can do and as you can see there's quite a bunch there that will be paid for. Um, some of these I didn't like, but some of them were really good and especially if you are interested in experimenting with your photos as part of your FMP or even you work into next year, they're really good. Now I chose this fog effect for one of my photos just to have a play around with the opacity really and see how realistic I could make it and I was quite impressed. You can do all of the um, editing techniques that you can do in Photoshop on here as well. So we're talking exposure, saturation, contrast, temperature, vibrance as well. So you can play around with photographs without adding a filter, but it does also show you the layers on there as well. I was really impressed with the fog, the snow and the rain effects. Some of them didn't look realistic with my photograph. 
but some of the snow ones looked really really good so as you can see here some of the rain ones were a little bit too um bright but this one with the classic snow this one was really good and i feel if you were doing a fashion editorial or some portraits and you played around with the temperature and added some of these filters you could completely change the season of your image which is a really interesting thing to experiment with and although this app is quite specialist it might be worth an upgrade if you were interested in using overlays on your phone the free version has loads of them so it's not necessary at all but it is $2.99 per month or $23.49 for 12 months, which works out slightly cheaper. And you do, from the preview, seem to get quite a lot of premium overlays and the ability to use the arrays and mask tools. But we're going to look at an app now that offers that for free and does it really well. Now the next app is called Bazaar, which you do have to sign up to a trial for. It is free for the first seven days, I think it is, um, and after that it's £5.50 a month, but it is worth trying the free trial and seeing what you can do with it. Now this has the ability to um, magically erase the background of most pictures. I've tried this on two now. So this picture of Taylor Swift already had a white background and with one click you was able to erase that completely and then replace it with the library of backgrounds which are solid colours. You have some gradients, you have some different patterns and um, different techniques that you can use as well so I did like I was really impressed with this app and I'll definitely be keeping it at least for the free trial and maybe even beyond that I found it really interesting and also really fun to have a play around with now this picture of Taylor Swift was obviously really easy to remove the background and I used it as a bit of a trial but for the most part it was quite accurate I thought it might have erase some of the hair by accident or created a bit of a unpolished and um messy line around the hair but it actually didn't i was you know well i've said i was really impressed but they have got just loads and loads and loads of backgrounds um, and i really liked the textured ones so i stuck with that one for this one and it wouldn't be a video of mine if i didn't talk about my cat um because i've not talked about him yet so this is my cat pixel is lovely and as you can see with this background it is my house but it managed to magically erase the background without much um, effort I mean the side of his face is a little bit flat where the stairs were but I can forgive it it doesn't look too strange and again playing around with some of the backgrounds on here was really good I would recommend using this for any portrait work or if you were to create a home studio which will be our video in a few weeks taking pictures you've done before loading them into your phone and seeing what you can do i think it's quite an interesting way to have an experiment if you've not got photoshop and although it's a paid app that free trial would be really useful if you were to work quite quickly and work through some of the backgrounds and create a bulk of work before the free trial ran out now not only can you use this app for replacing the background, you can also move around layers and add layers. So you can resize your subject within the frame, you can change the background, you can lock layers, you can hide them just as you would in Photoshop. So it does give you that professional editing quality but on your phone. It also has loads of templates, so if you were into marketing or you were having, well you can't have a party because it's isolation, but if you were sending out invitations for anything, you can have a little experiment and there are loads of really good templates for these. Now I've just sped this next part up because I was having a bit of a play around with some of the text and the font and adding another picture of my cat to it, but you can just see here me having a go with some of the typography options on there and also replacing photographs and moving stuff around. So as I mentioned before you do have to pay for this app. It comes with a seven day free trial and after that the monthly premium is £5.49 and you can pay for a yearly premium at £33.99.
Now I have an iPhone so it was really easy to cancel. I just went on to my Apple ID and my subscriptions and clicked cancel subscription almost immediately, sort of the day after. I will decide whether I want to subscribe again after that, um, but it is really easy to cancel so you don't need to worry about being tied into a contract after a trial or anything like that. Now this next app is similar to the other apps but the reason I chose it is because it does offer you a double exposure function. So it has already preset filters on here. Some of them are um, not useful for all photographs but definitely you can try them out. Has some really good high contrast black and white as well. But the reason I chose this app as something a little bit different is it does offer you a double exposure function which is a really good technique that I've not seen in any of the other apps before. Now with this you can layer two images together and it will automatically set the top photograph to have maybe a 50% opacity, I'm not entirely sure, but again you can change this on the app as well. Now it does have the filter exposures on here as well, similar to what you would get on Photoshop, which do offer a different outcome so you can have a go with those but it is the only app that I've seen that does offer a double exposure functionality for free. Now the good thing about this app is it is completely free, there are no paid upgrades so what you see is what you get. So if you are looking for an app that doesn't tie you into a free trial or you can use all of the features this is definitely the one to use. So well done, you've made it until the end of the video. I'm really sorry it was quite a long one, but I did just want to give you all of the different apps that you can use. Now, your task for this week is on the screen now. I want you to create a day in the life narrative series of work with a minimum of six photographs and I want them to be edited using one of these phone apps. Now, I would like you to either put them on Teams so that I can see them or put them on your WordPress and tell me which app you used and have a narrative of the six photographs. You don't necessarily need to include any writing. The photographs should be able to speak for themselves. So thank you guys for watching. I really look forward to seeing your narrative day in the life outcomes and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.